Hello and welcome to Play Pigeon Kart Club on the 13th of June 2021 as the drivers are suiting up the final of round two of the Two Counties Kart Club Championship for 2021. Unfortunately, round one was cancelled due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, so all the drivers will have used their drop scores, which means every point for the rest of the season counts. Also on the line today is the 2020 Matthew Percy Memorial Trophy, which is traditionally held at the final round of the Duke Hanks Car Club Championship each year. But with the final round of 2020 being cancelled due to the same coronavirus pandemic, the decision was made to compete for it at the first available round of 2021, which is the round here today. So several of our drivers with the eye on that particular prize. Also of note, the temperature today, very hot, it's been high 20 degrees all day, getting clocked as high as 29 degrees, so that may prove a factor in the race, so the driver's tyres having to do three heats already in those temperatures will have done a number on them. Speaking of the heats, heat one was won by Anthony Cleal with Mike Bell second and Russell O'Neill, Sarita Schoen in fourth and Sylvain Bessier, Kieran Quirk, Phil Shears, David Baldwin, Billy Thomas and Paul Alexander making up the top ten. Tom Parker, the top novice, in 12th, going up 11 positions. Heat 2 was won by Russell O'Neill with Anthony Cleal second ahead of Messier. Chris Underhill with a good run into fourth ahead of Mike Bell, Kieran Quirk, Billy Thomas, Phil Shears, Rob Mortimer, and David Baldwin making up the top 10. And heat number 3 was won by Taylor Waldron by 14 seconds ahead of the battling group of Bell, Quirk, Messier, and Thomas. David Waldron sixth out of Sarita Schoen with Kevin O'Neill, David Good, and newcomer to Formula Blue Steve Groves running out the top 10. You can see their number 6 Paul Alexander just looking at something on the back of his cart there. It looks like his temperature sensor is on plug. Just a quick plug in, and Paul Alexander ready to race. been a cart being recovered on the circuit so a momentary delay but we will be going racing any second now and it's going to be Michael Bell leading us out in the number four alongside Kier, uh, Sylvain Vessier with Kieran Quirk with a fantastic run through the heats lining up third ahead of Anthony Cleal in fourth. Back to back defending champion Russell O'Neill lines up fifth ahead of Billy Thomas with David Waldron seventh ahead of Phil Shears, Chris Underhill and Sarita Schoen making up the top ten. David Good in behind ahead of Kevin O'Neill, Steve Groves lining up 13th ahead of Paul Alexander, with Taylor Waldron down in 15th after two heats lost due to mechanical failure. Rob Mortimer 16th ahead of Ron Schoen, the top novice Tom Parker ahead of Thomas Jones, with Robin Sorkson 28th ahead of Mike Watts, John Hartshorn, and Adrian Helps and Mark Church. The driver's now on the way down to Billy's blind on the rolling lap. Bell setting up a pretty fast pace, going up through the hand hairpin, going to start backing everybody up into that 2x2 two two formation. Alright, back in 15th there with the white bun for Taylor Waldron. One heat three, but didn't really have to do too much in heat one or two, so he's going to have very fresh stars indeed. Expect him to come through. Now we're on board with Paul Alexander. Number 10 ahead of us is Kevin O'Neill. He's alongside David Wood and in front of us to the right now, 52, it's Steve Groves, the newcomer in the Cosmic. And they go up towards Pit Bend, Bell and Vessier slowing the pace down. Now past the final marshal, keep an eye on the lights. Bell and Vessier, and away we go, and it's a little poor start from Waldron as Phil Shears cuts ahead of us, but it looks like Bell takes the lead from Quirk. No, Vessier challenging back around the outside of Bell. Everyone's going two by two. There's Mike Watts and Adrian Helps at the back of the pack. And on board with Mortimer. He's going to slot in behind Chris Underhill through the chicane and up the Sturmy Straight. It's Bell leading from Vessier, Quirk, Cleal, Billy Thomas up into fifth ahead of Russell O'Neill. And the rest of the field stream through. As Russell O'Neill looking to regain fifth place through the horseshoe up the inside of Billy Thomas. So the defending champion passes the Welshman as they go up towards Pit Bend for the first time. It's Bell being pushed by Messier. Work still hanging on to third and everybody else in a big long train behind. As Sarita Shones made up a lot of places on the first lap, she's already up into that sixth spot. With Messier looking every which way to try and get a move on Bell. As now we're back on board with David Baldron. Number 16 ahead of us is Phil Shears. Ahead of him is Billy Thomas who was struggling with rear tyre problems in Heat 3. Hopefully he'll fix those for the final, but it looks like the top six starting to eke away now. As now we're back on board with Russell O'Neill, looking to go around the outside of Anthony Cleal through the horseshoe. That'll be impressive if he does it, and they're side by side up through buttons. And give O'Neill inside for top bend as they're battling over fourth place. 
And O'Neill looks to be just coming up short. You can see Cleal moving up alongside us there as round the kink we go. Cleal goes back into fourth, but it's still Bell from Vessier from Quirk, the top three. And Sarita shown right on the back of Russell O'Neill. Now we're back on board with Rob North, and we're ahead of us. 82 is Chris Underhill. He's looking to the inside of Kevin O'Neill into the hand hairpin, and sure enough, looks like the position was made there. He's back on board with Russell O'Neill. Anthony Keel, the number one ahead of us, Kieran Quirk in third place, relatively fresh off his novice place. And the two carts behind him have four two counties cart club championships combined between them. But the cross line goes, start another lap, it's Bell Fessier. Now we're on board with Paul Alexander, number 66 ahead of us is Rob Mortimer. Group Willie's blind, that's side by side, that's David Waldron being overtaken by Taylor Waldron. To Taylor up to ninth already with the fastest lap to his name thus far. As up the straight, Paul Alexander looks to the inside of Rob Mortimer and into the hand hairpin. Through goes Alexander. He can slide wide. Can Mortimer make the cutback? No, he can't. Paul Alexander in the Zenon slots ahead of Mortimer in the Mac Minarelli. So they go up through buttons. That's a move. That's Taylor Waldron looking like he's passed on Billy Thomas. Meanwhile, back to Russell O'Neill. Anthony Cleal in front of us looking for a move on Kieran Quirk through the kink. To no avail. But Quirk's going to run wide and Anthony Cleal going to go up the inside for the chicane. Not going to give Anthony Cleal an opportunity to make an overtake. And he will expect him not to take it. Bell still leads from Vestia. Cleal now up to third ahead of Quirk and Russell O'Neill already up challenging. Knows he can't let Cleal out of his sights if he wants any chance of winning this race. Three buttons they go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fast as that, Taylor Waldron already threw up into seventh and he's trying to uh, bridge the gap to the leaders. Now on board with O'Neill. Right on the back of Kieran Quirk. Possibly looking to try and follow Anthony Cleal's footsteps, but no avail this time by. The next group of four forming in behind is with Phil Shears, Billy Thomas, David Ward, and Chris Underhill. Russell O'Neill now looking to the outside of the hand hairpin, and he's gonna hold on. No, he won't. Defense from Quirk as that's number 13, Robin Stark Stones making move on Rob Mortimer. Mortimer is going to be able to cut back and retain that position through the horseshoe. But up to top bend, the top three starting to break away now. There's another two groups of four in behind in this group of five. Now Russell O'Neill, he needs to really get past Kieran Quirk soon because Anthony Cleal is starting to check out along with the other people in the top three. That's Paul Alexander holding off Southwark Stones, more to more good and groves. There's Ron Stone and Tom Parker giving chase behind. Now the Sturmy Street. Robin Star Stones thinks about looking to the inside, but he's going to run wide. Mortimer looks like he's going to make the pass once again. He's up into the horseshoe. Turns out, yep, Mortimer has made it stick. That's for 13th place. That's Phil Shears ahead of Billy Thomas and Russell O'Neill still looking all over the back of number 27, Kieran Quirk. Down towards Billy's blind once again, Quirk's going to slide wide, O'Neill's going to look to the inside through the chicane. And Russell O'Neill through into fourth spot, Kieran Quirk down to fifth. Action all over the track, all up and down the orders. Now we're on board with David Waldron, number 16 ahead of us. It's Phil Shears and that's Chris Underhill going for the inside. And that's Anthony Cleal taking the lead of the race. So Cleal takes the lead from Bell. Vessier still there in third, so Cleal's made up two spots in the last two laps. Russell O'Neill through and Taylor Waldron looks like he's past Sarita Schoen as well. All action, all up and down the order. That's Cleal into lead and Vessier up to second. Vessier passes Bell. Waldron looking at passing Quirk as well and Waldron to the inside of the chicane. But it's Cleal leading from Vessier and Bell. It's the new top three. There's Adrian Helps and John Archer and they're in a duel over 20th position. Still looking at the battle of Robin Stark Stones versus Paul Alexander. Cleal now starting to break away from Vessier. Bell now has Russell O'Neill for close company. These two have been first and second in the club championships the last two years. And O'Neill looks to the inside for Billy's blind, but he's going to make the move up for third. No, he doesn't. Bell gets back underneath through the chicane and up the Sturmy Street. Bell's pace not holding through, but he's not going to make it for any of Now back on board with Rob Mortimer. Robin Stone still carrying Paul Alexander. As they're going up the Sturmy Straight. Stone's to the inside. 
He's going to make the move. He's going to run wide. Alexander comes back underneath and gets back in front of Sonic Stones into the horseshoe. And all that's going to let Rob Mortimer catch back up. But meanwhile, Bell and O'Neill have Taylor Waldron for close company now. So the battle for third is now a three-way duel. Waldron looking to the inside of Russell O'Neill for the chicane, and sure enough, Waldron makes the pass. The number 64 now up into fourth place. There's the battling group. That's Paul Alexander, Robin Stark Stones, and now Rob Mortimer with Steve Groves and David Good in behind. Now we're on board with Waldron. He's all over the back of Chris Underhill. He's all over the back of Phil Shears. He's all over the back of Billy Thomas, who's going to slide wide. That's Sarita Schoen just making a move on Kieran Quirk. That's for sixth spot. And the uh, stand the start finish straight we go into turn one. Top seven starting to check out against this group of four now. Then in behind is Alexander still holding off Robin Stoddard Stones. Now we're on board with Russell O'Neill into the hand hairpin. Bell's going to slide wide and Waldron's going to look like he's going to have an attack. Back on board with Mortimer once again up the Sturmy Strait. And once again, Robin Stoddard Stones looking to make the pass. Well, Alexander though holds on. Cleo leads from Vessier and now Taylor Waldron side by side with Mike Bell as they're going to go down the start finish and across the start line. Waldron's going to make the pass, Bell's going to try and get back underneath. Is he going to be able to make it? Chris Underhill looking at attacking Billy Thomas though and now we're on board with O'Neill and he's going to lift blood down the inside into the hand hairpin and Russell O'Neill is going to take fifth place. That's Tom Parker cruising back into the pits of something wrong with his cart. Now on board with Alexander and there goes Robin Stunner Stones once again trying to make the pass into the hand hairpin and sliding wide. Alexander threw the horseshoe once again ahead of the Stoddard Stones. Now we're on board with David Waldron, number 16. Bill Shears ahead of us. Billy Thomas ahead of Shears and Chris Underhill has managed to get all the way through this group. And starting to try and break away. As Waldron looking for the run against Phil Shears through the chicane up the Sturmy Strait. Doesn't look like anything's going to happen there. Oh, and ahead of us, Underhill spun! And a great avoidance from Phil Shears. Underhill's going to get it back the right way. He's going to try and retain the position ahead of the Alexander and Stunner Stones battle. And they're going to run wide, and Robin Stunner Stones going to get run onto the grass there. Three wide through the, hand, uh, through the horseshoe. It's not really going to work. And Robin Stunner Stones gets back on ahead of Good and Groves. So now this group is Underhill, Alexander, Mortimer, Stunner Stones, Good, Groves. And there's Ron Schoen trying to close the gap. And into Billy's blind, the order staying the same, but Rob Mortimer having a look. And here comes David Waldron, looking to the inside of Phil Shears. Into the hand hairpin, Waldron's going to run wide, but listen, going to keep the pace. And Shears has spun! Phil Shears has spun, and he's stranded on the outside. Phil Shears once again having no luck in the final. And that's Mike Bell now with Sarita Schoen on his bumper, and Sylvain Vessier has dropped out. Sylvain Vessier, the car in second position, is in the pit lane. He will be taking no further part in this race. Of course, it's going to move everybody else up a spot. Now we're on board with Russell O'Neill. Taylor Waldron ahead of us now up to second place, and he's going to be putting a lap on John Hartshorn. Russell O'Neill going to try and get through as well, leaves as little time as possible to Taylor Waldron as they're giving chase to race leader Anthony Cleal. In behind there, that's Bell up to fourth now with Sarita Schoen in fifth. As Adrian helps Kieran Quirk hanging on for sixth place and a big gap behind to Billy Thomas. As I enter Billy's blind, shown all over the back of Bell. Quirk hanging on as we're on board with Bell and through in the chicane. Sarita shown up to fourth place and up Sturmy straight. They go. And towards the hand hairpin. Underhill's checking out of that group ahead of Alexander and Mortimer, Jude and Groves. Sorry, that's not our stone. Steve Groves has dropped off the back of this group. He's behind Ron Schoen and Phil Shears. The Groves must have made a mistake somewhere. As there's Schoen and Bell both getting past Hartshorn. Looks like Bell's got no retort against Sarita Schoen as she's starting to pull away and open a little bit of a gap up. Bell's got to be careful not to pull too far back and get caught by Kieran Quirk. But in behind is Billy Thomas. There's Robin Stoddard Stones giving it everything trying to catch David Good, who's himself attacking Rob Mortimer. 
What more following Paul Alexander? He would look into the inside for the chicane, but nothing happened in there. There's Ryan Pitt Bend, Anthony Cleal leading the race. Taylor Waldron second and Russell O'Neill third. That's how big the gap is. Now into Billy's blind once again. Cleal with a personal best lap of the race. Pulling a few hundreds against Waldron and O'Neill. And there's Sarita Shown going past Mike Watts. Mike Bell following through. Now looking back, Billy Thomas hanging on from David Waldron. Thomas managed to open up a small gap there. And there's Alexander. Mortimer sliding wide and David Good looking for an opportunity. Robin Stoddard Stone's right back on those two now. As Ryan Pitt then to take the last lap board is Anthony Cleal, then Waldron and O'Neill. Pit Ben, there's Hartshorn. That looks like Adrian helps ahead of Billy Thomas. And Billy Thomas moving to the left, gonna get past Adrian helps. David Waldron still trying to catch back up. And there's Robin Stoddart Stones reeling in David Good and Rob Mortimer. That's gonna be a fight that's gonna go to the line. And Stoddart Stones looking to try and get underneath. But a round pit bend. He's going to come down to take the checkered flag to make it five winners out of five finals. Anthony Cleal takes the flag for round two of the Two Counties Cart Club Championship. Ahead of Taylor Waldron, ahead of Russell O'Neill. Three to Shone's going to be fourth ahead of Bell and then Kieran Quirk. The battle for seventh still is going to go to the line. And it looks like Billy Thomas is going to hold off David Waldron, but Anthony Cleal takes the win. Thumbs up to Taylor Waldron and Russell O'Neill, both who are having good drives themselves to make it up into the top three. And Steve Groves is going to pressure Phil Shears to the line and they're going to grind out our finishers. 15th and 16th, Shears and Groves both recovering. No nose going penalties and no issues in scrutineering means the results will stand and Anthony Cleal takes the win ahead of Taylor Waldron going up 13 spots to finish second. Russell O'Neill third ahead of Sarita Schoen and Michael Bell. Kieran Quirk in sixth ahead of Billy Thomas. David Waldron, Chris Underhill and Paul Alexander running up the top ten. Rob Mortimer eleventh ahead of Robert Star Stones. David Good, Ron Schoen, Phil Shears and Steve Rose making up the top sixteen. Ahead of Mike Watts, John Hartshorn and Adrian Helps. Sylvain Bessier, Tom Parker, Kevin O'Neill all coming in early. Tom Jones and Mark Church will not making the start. What that will do to the championship standings, Anthony Cleal leads the way ahead of Mike Bell by just a single point ahead of Russell O'Neill, one point himself ahead of Kieran Quirk. Billy Thomas running out the top five with three to show and David Waldron, Taylor Waldron, Chris Underhill and Sylvain Bessier making out the top ten. Phil Shears in the eleventh ahead of David Good and Paul Alexander with Rob Mortimer and Stephen Groves making up the top fifteen. In the Blue Masters it's Anthony Cleal who leads the way ahead of Russell O'Neill, Billy Thomas and David Waldron who all started and finished in that order. Chris Underhill 5th ahead of a 3 way tie for 6th with David Good, Phil Shears and Paul Alexander. Rob Mortimer 9th ahead of Steve Groves and Robin Stark Stones on 10th, 1 point ahead of Ron Show. In the Blue Veterans it's Anthony Cleal similarly leading the way, this time ahead of David Waldron with Chris Underhill 3rd. A three-way type of fourth puts David Good, Paul Alexander and Phil Shears all on 12 points ahead of Rob Mortimer, with Steve Groves and Robin Stoddart Stones even on points ahead of Ron Schoen and Kevin O'Neill. In the Blue Legends Championship, it's Chris Underhill who takes the early lead ahead of 2020 champion David Good, with Robin Stoddart Stones third ahead of Ron Schoen and Kevin O'Neill. And Billy Thomas continues his perfect season for the Formula Blue top weights, taking the pole and victory. Ahead of Rob Moore tomorrow with Phil Shears, Ron Schoen and Mike Watts running at the top five. And that's going to be all of the action from Clay Pigeon here today. Join us again in two weeks as the Formula Blues take the trip across the country to Lid International Kart Club for the Formula Blue O-Plate and also for the return of the Junior Formula Blues. So keep an eye out for that. It should be a good one. But that's all for today. And we shall see you next time. Goodbye.